Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Pillow Fort Control. It's going to kick off our donation deck Thursday here. Got all donation decks all the time here on today. I guess not really like every day, but just today. It's not really every Thursday. So I was about to say uh, here on this Thursday, but then that would, would like infer that every Thursday is a donation deck day. But that's not really true. Anyway, what, so basically what we have here is we have a blue-white control deck where we are going to be trying to mill out our opponent with the help of Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, and Ashiok, Dream Render. So that's our goal. So in order to accomplish that goal, we have just a lot of sweepers, as you can see with the three Settle the Wreckage, four Cleansing Nova to try to clear up creatures. We got some other... Um, uh, some other card advantage. Hey, what's up, Waticus? Thanks for that resub there. Um, we have our other card advantage with Teferi, some other bounce with this Teferi. We got some more removal with Warrant that can also be okay against control by making a 4-4. Uh, we have Revitalize to help us gain life and get some card draw. And, of course, we have Counter Magic. So calling this Pillow Fort Control... Um, hey... Hey, Sculpted Mind, doing good? Um, calling this Pillow Fort Control because we really are like a control deck that's trying to just like hold down the fort for a really long time and mill our opponent out, but we're not like a real uh, fortified fort. Uh, it's not very stable. It's like a little Pillow Fort because people can punch through our defenses pretty easily. We're not like setting up like this wall of defense kind of thing. Um, and locking the opponent out. We're basically just trying to control the game long enough to have Jace and Ashiok and Miller opponent out. How are we going to beat Nexus of Fate, you probably ask? Good question. I think not getting paired against Nexus of Fate is our best way to beat it. So that's my plan. We're not going to get paired against it. Uh, we have like some backdoor ways where we can kind of win, I suppose, if we like make like some 4-4s. Four I guess maybe make some four fours or something. I don't know. If we play against like a next of fate deck that only has like one win con, that there's a that's like a popular thing these days, and we exile their win con with Ashiok, maybe they will just concede. But all of like the things we'd have to do to kind of beat Nexus uh, reliably with like other win conditions is kind of kind of rough. So I think we're just gonna have Warden. Um, oh yeah, Dovin's Veto. I just completely forgot that Dovin's Veto is a card. Yeah, let's get that over Negate. Sorry, that's just an upgrade. I forgot about that card. Whoops. Good call. Alright, change that. <laughs> uh, besides that, to, to beat Nexus though, we have a whole lot of Teferis and Narsets, and like maybe we can kind of lock them out with uh, not letting them cast any instant speed stuff, so turning off like Wilderness Reclamation, and also not letting them draw more than one card a turn, so then they can't, they couldn't even cast like Chemistry's Insights on our turn, so then like they're, they always, they're already drawing their one card a turn, and then none of their draw effects do anything. So maybe we can get like this combination backed up with some counter magic with the absorbed sabotages and vetoes to kind of lock them out, and they just quit. Uh, that's about my plan. But yeah, this is what we got here. Let's uh, give this a try. Yeah, Narset's really strong. Um, so that's like my plan against control also is have like a bunch of Narsets and Teferis uh, and counter magic and then try to outdraw them with these Teferis. Or the, that Teferi and the Jace. Um, so there we go. All right, so Pillow 4 control. We're, both, we're mostly going to want to face creature decks where we can like settle and Cleansing Nova a whole bunch. This may be some longer games. So let's go ahead and get to it. Head on over to the traditional constructed queues for Pillow Fort Control. I need to update our deckless command in Stream Decker. Edit, take out, negate, add in Dovin's Veto. Hey, what's up, Colonel Fault? Uh, we also had our third sub of the day a little bit ago while I was talking there. So let's update that. That deck seems awesome. Hope, really hope it works out well. Yeah, hopefully we'll see. 
you know, not being able to, or not really winning games very quickly. If you're somebody who really likes control, and likes a control control deck, this deck could certainly be for you. All right, so I, I guess I, so if I play the Escanta right now, I'm just gonna never, I'm not gonna kill like the Steamkin and stuff till like turn five. I think we could be okay against Mono Red sometimes, like especially being on the play. I think we may be a little too slow on the draw here. I could, I could really use a Warrant Warden for this Steamkin. Let's see if we can find Warrant Warden. Hmm. But I think we're going to be just a, a tad too slow here. Um, if they had more burn spells, we'd be better with like Absorb, Revitalize, but like these creatures, especially this one right here, two mana. Creature that attacks for so much. All right, maybe we'll draw Settle. Settle. All right, we just gotta see if our opponent is scared of Settle or not. Wow. Just not scared of Settle at all. All right, we need the extra Settle. This is a matchup where we need all these baffling ends. Um, so we have some good stuff there, although those cards are all really good. We're going to take out this Teferi. Is Dovin's Veto better than Sinister Sabotage? Probably. Costing less. And trim one as Kanta also. All right. Still got our Ashiok, still got our, J our Jaces. There are Wincon. Ashiok can be good against. Um, it can do stuff against. Uh, oh, what's the name of the card? Risk Factor. You can do some stuff against Risk Factor. All right, we need to get one of our Planeswalkers to start getting some card advantage. Maybe trimmed a little bit too much on Planeswalkers. Our opponent is not one that plays around sweepers. That is definitely something we found out so far.
<laughs> Ain't got no time to care about sweepers. Let's see if we can see if they don't have a creature here. Good. All right, we need to draw a Jace or a Teferi or an Ascanta. Jace, Teferi, Ascanta. All right, Ascanta, here we go. No, we don't have any of the Prism Realms. That's the card you're thinking of here. Yeah, sure, you can deal two to me. I'll take two. No biggie. So I can just gain three and draw a card. Sure. I want to make sure I... Like, I'd rather keep this for, like, a Frenzy. Um, or maybe even, like, a Risk Factor. Like, something like that. Back up to 15. Trust me. You know what? I'm not done yet. Ooh. All right, I'm th thinking we got this. No, I don't have any Blast Zone. I, I don't have any utility lands because of triple blue with Jace. And... Triple blue with Jace and, like, then the, the white requirements of, like, the sweepers and stuff. No time for a break. So I even got, like, the three guild gates, as you can see in here. We have gotten to the the fort part of the deck. Let's think this. I am your greatest fear. This. I'll return where you slumber. All right, they're down to 37 cards. Yo, that's... I mean, that's what our deck is doing. We're trying to mill our opponent out. That was my instruction with building the deck. So yeah, I'm milling my opponent. Yeah, they could get risk factor, but oh well. We don't need to mill us out. We're gonna mill them out. That's my plan. Both at a little, well, we're a little less than 30. Okay, so we stabilize there. Now, can we get this one on the draw? We could play Narset against Risk Factor, but we haven't seen any Risk Factors yet. I don't think I want another Ascanta. I'm going to take out one of the Cleansing Novas. So we have all this other removal in. It is still pretty expensive at 5 mana. Let's take out one of those. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see if we'll see if like there's anybody that doesn't actually just scoop. Somebody has makes this play it out. So we have eight two mana removal spells now. Uh, we have like the revitalizes, the absorbs. We have all the settles. So we can this deck can play some good defense against you know against like creatures. We'll just have the Steamkin meet its baffling end. We may need to warrant a Rekindling Phoenix. That could be a thing. Honestly, maybe I should be just keeping up Dovin's Veto here and just take a, take a hit with the Lava Runner. And wait till next turn till we have four mana, because the worst case scenario is they just play a Chandra. Alright, good. Worst case scenario didn't happen. Because we saw Chandra last game. So got got lucky. Now definitely holding up Veto for Chandra or Frenzy. Uh, that thing I'll just warrant away. Well, I mean obviously I can't counter that anyway. Tibalt would be really bad for me to see. Alright, keep up Dovin's Veto instead of playing as Kanta. One mana short of being able to play Jace and have Veto up. Uh, yeah, we spent a lot on art styles for sure. Too much. We're at a very healthy 19. No. Bad Chandra. Ooh, keep that. Just in case there's another one. Alright, they're at 44 cards. I know this is not as optimal as milling myself. Because of risk factor, and also because of Ascanta. Mm, six lands is fine. But I, I think we can still win. There's always an answer. Even considering that. The slow burn. We're the real burn deck over here. Nah, we don't need to play Warden. I'll just keep the counter magic up. Get rid of that firebrand. Sorry, I'm late. Hold that thought. Ten 
<laughs> Our deck is working. It's working. Um, encounter this. Yeah, we've got to stay above Bane Fire range. We're like not even like milling them faster than we're milling us. <laughs> even with me targeting them. We're still milling ourselves faster. <laughs> yeah, our deck is kind of designed to beat mono red with all this stuff. Like, definitely have mono red in my crosshairs with everything we got in here. Yeah, we're going to play Titans to Vivian's Boogaloo. <laughs> Alright, Pillow for Control. Want to know? Yeah, Borderland Ranger, uh, when Tony Mitchin you know, donated for a Selesnia deck for his brother. And so I wanted to try out um, Slesnia Titans version 2. Do you run clear the mine or devious cover up? Nope. We, we win if... With Jace, we win the game if we mill ourselves also. So like we don't have to worry about... We don't have to be worried, out, worried about milling. Because if we would draw a card while we have no... Or our library has no cards in it, we'll win the game, so... Yeah, so our win con is either mill our opponent out or mill us out. One of the two. We're going to be trying to mill our opponent out. But maybe we'll mill ourselves out along the way. Mono red. Didn't make a card art for Jace. How important like Jace is in the story and everything. You'd think that Jace would have a card art. Yeah, this is not a great hand against red. You know, of course, we don't know what we're playing. If I knew we were playing against red, I would not have been keeping this hand, of course. We got to hope they don't have a fourth land and cannot play the Chandra. But then if they don't have a fourth land, then they're probably just killing me. All right, I'm going to mill myself this time. Yeah, get rid of those lands. Because right now, I really am scared of risk factor where we're at in this game. All right, so they have a Chandra. So we're going to have to tuck Chandra with Teferi and then mill it over kind of thing. Wow, no respect for Jace. No yeah, start milling yourself.
think this through. Let's light it up. Don't actually light it up. Don't do that. Ow. Ow. Alright, looks like they lit it up. Alright, well, our matchup definitely gets better after sideboarding, and now I know exactly what we're playing. No, did not keep a hand like that against them. We want all these vetoes. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to cut two sabotages, two Ashioks, two Teferis, one Nova, one Jace. Now we're at 61. I didn't play the fourth veto last time. I think it's either fourth veto or the revitalize. As an extra cut here. Or sorry, sorry, the Ascanta. Not we're not cutting revitalize. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of one Ascanta. Yeah, let's do that. We could go down to two Jace. The thing is, like, we need to find one of our card draw things because if if we don't, um, we play a lot more lands. Like, we'll run out of cards. They they will kill us. So, like, we need to we need to find like one of the Escantas or Jace or Teferi, something like that. Because we need to keep refilling our hand. Uh, definitely worried about like Tabalt and Chandra right now without having any answer to him. A lot of little creatures. All right, so we'll have the saddle for all these. Settle. So we're gonna have lots of lands. Ooh, Jace is a good draw. Um you know, it does help us go through our does help us, you know, find more cards and everything. Can we take the hit of two on Pyromancer to get the Jace in play? Or do I use this entire turn just to baffling on that thing? I think we take the hit of two. A manipulation of the mind. Again, without having counter magic, definitely scared of risk factor. You want to play with fire, huh? What's that smell? Oh, it's Ugh. you burning. All right, we got to find one of our Teferis. 
Well, we will be able to flip the Escanta now, though. Thanks to the Jace. So I guess since we like we have the two Teferis and we gotta draw one. Sit back and watch it burn. I think I have haste. Good. Milling myself and then milling over like if we mill over a Teferi, that would be That'd be really bad. So just have a shock also. Didn't have any counter spells. Need counter spells if we're gonna stay alive against them. <laughs> Alright, one and one against red. Looks like I could not have taken that two when I played the Jace and we took the two damage. Looks like we couldn't afford that, but with the Chandra out there, that was gonna be tough. But I learned my lesson about like that first hand. I don't think I should have kept the first hand game, the game one hand. Ah, black red, black red burn. We got a different deck here. Yeah, we we did draw lots of lands that game. That was a little unfortunate, but oh well. The lad, what are you? I don't know. What are you talking about? All right, let's go ahead and absorb this Chain Whirler. Yeah, Galad, just block and report that person. It's just... They're just, it's just like a spam thing of like whatever Twitch viewer you are watching. Are they think about like not casting that chain whirler. I think they were. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it or anything on my end. I don't know. I've never... Oh, come on. Ugh. I knew you needed my help. 
This lava runner is perfect. With the one mana to cast. It's gonna be bad for you. Yeah, I feel bad for me right now, too. Alright. I mill myself whenever we lost those games. Yeah, see, so didn't mill myself. We drew Teferi. Definitely use a sweeper. Play a bunch of them for a reason. Oh, it's you burning. Yeah, nobody cares about Jace. I won't hide from the world any you need to slow down. All right, so I had to draw with Jace first because if if I tucked Chandra and then activated Jace, then they would just draw the Chandra again. We have done a good job of milling over some some burn spells. They probably don't have three burn spells in a row, right? Okay, good. A counter spell. You gotta find a sweeper. You play the hand you're it's not a sweeper. Keep up the pace. It's not a sweeper either. I can no so we find a settle. By and watch. I'll protect you. Not a settle. I mean, if they cast a spell, Absorb doesn't gain us enough life to, sur to survive this Lava Runner. We just had to be uh, we're one life short. We just gotta hope they don't attack us with both creatures for some reason. Maybe they attack one of these to fairies and me. We need this other Teferi for Chandra. I 
you know, we got kind of fortunate to, to find one. I think we need all three. I hope we don't lose this. It's like a quick three matches. That wasn't like nothing's really different in these matches. Yeah, it's just all red decks. Just face three in a row. Lava Runner is really good. It's really good against Warrant, as we saw there that last game. We just put it back on top, and then they were able to just recast it again the same turn with the help of Light of the Stage or... or Chandra. But this, if they are relying on Light of the Stage here, I'm doing it right now because of Light of the Stage. This kind of looks like... A light of the stage turn. Light up the stage turn last time. Bleh. Those are all things that are very easy to cast. So they are not so they are playing around settle. They're not just playing the lava runner into it also. But we'll take the two for one. And not the damage. Still didn't play the Lava Runner. I guess they just want a Lightning Strike here. If you hurry. And they didn't Lightning Strike there. So they don't have any lands. In, like, they didn't play a land drop last turn. light up the stages even more of them let's skip to the good part All 
right, so we're at 10. Time for plan B. Okay. Jason's not bad. Hurry. Gonna draw more cards. We'll make this look easy. Let's find counter magic. Really just want to be finding like absorb. This That's a great mill for us. Get rid of Skewer and Tabalt. That'll do. Just doesn't matter. The question is why not untap dual lands? It just doesn't doesn't matter. If we had like absorb showing. Um it's always an answer. Chain Whirler War Boss. You know what? I'm not done yet. There we go. Perfect. This turn worked out really well for us. It's kind of what happens when you draw three cards a turn. You'll get some good ones. We're not too far away from a Teferi ultimate. I'm getting too Love it. This. As we can see by our opponent throwing a lightning strike at a Teferi. They don't have any lands in the graveyard. So they've only seen six lands in their 24 cards. Keep on milling over spells. Ah, finally hit a land. Cause I want them drawing the land. Keep up the pace. This one's looking good for us. We got our our pillow fort assembled. Planeswalkers in, in play, battlefield clear, counter spells in hand. I'm never flipping the Suscanta though. Let's try this. Yeah, get rid of those creatures. Hold that thought. All right, now we get to flip the Escanta. We have another Escanta. Yeah, that's what Teferi's saying. Hold that fort. <laughs> so 
30. 30 cards to go. Ah, uh, we're going to flip the Ascanta anyway. Down to 28 cards. I think they're just stockpiling burn spells in hand. No time for a while. I stockpile counter spells. Could make a 4-4 with Warden. That kind of goes against what, what my deck's doing. And it does seem like it's faster to mill yourself out with Jace if we were just milling ourselves out this whole time. It would be better. Alright, so if I activate his Kanta, we still have six mana available. So we'd still be able to cast two absorbs. I think that's good enough. We're just going to draw eight cards with Jace here. Problem with drawing eight cards of Jace is they can just kill my Jace, and then I don't. And then I don't win if if we mill out. Dream big tonight. I'm hungry. <laughs> this. Let's get rid of these 24 cards over here. Exile them all. Behold. I guess I cracked first. My dreams dissipate like smoke. The slow burn. We burn their library, they try to burn us. Just this card in the warrant because they know about it, kind of thing. I don't know if I needed it. Show them another settle or baffling end. I'm sure they know that we have more of them, but. As soon as I think of one. Yep, you got to ferry, no problem. Still have two counter spells up, if need be. We 
We're milling ourselves so fast. Let's skip to the good part. That's a good one. Let's think this. Through. Why not self mill? Yeah, self milling is would be better right now with Jace. At 11 loyalty and us not really having to worry about oh, 11 loyalty Jace. Yeah, get that bane fire My out of here. But we're also, nice. also at a point where we're not going to lose. And we get to see their whole deck, which is nice for a game three. So we've seen a tip ball to bane fire. A whole bunch of light up the stages. I would hit Ashiok for one. I don't think I really want that to happen. We got enough cards here. Okay. Can we get game three on the draw? We get game three. Hopefully we do. Uh, no, I think our opponent was waiting that long to see if they drew the Bane Fire and see to, to see if like Bane Fire could kill us, but it wasn't really possible. Then you know we drew like the revitalizes eventually. I only have five planes in the deck. There's nine islands, five planes. Pass turn. No, no one drop. Wow. There we go. I was gonna say it should be pretty easy for us to draw blue mana. So we have 20 blue sources in the deck. If they would have kept their seven, I don't know if I would keep this, honestly. With them, with them mulliganing, then having revitalized to help us get to settle. I went with it. Please do not have Tibalt or Chandra. No Planeswalkers. Alright, well, this can be a problem. Uh, we haven't seen any black spells from our opponent. Shining, no, I am not. Please just play something. Dang. Yeah, we, did, we didn't see any remodies in their deck. We saw almost all of their deck.
thought they were going to play around Settle by not attacking with War Boss. I think, I think that's like the best thing. Like, if, you know, they they probably don't care about getting all the lands because of like Banefire. But still, I, I don't think you attack with War Boss. I think you just attack with the other four creatures and have the Settle get the other four. We need a card advantage engine. I was keeping Ashiok in the matchup, you know, just for because like that's like our our deck, our donation deck. We have, so keeping Ashiok, but uh, Jace would would be better in this matchup than Ashiok is, or keeping the the last Ascanta. Oh, don't do it. Uh, well, it's unfortunate. So we went 1-2 against the fast red aggro deck with our pillow fort deck. Um, yeah, it's just kind of the way it goes. There's a reason why the red deck is really, really powerful. Um, and and everything. Um, I think I kind of like our, our plan and everything. I guess, you know, I kept that hand with that mulliganing, but the war boss really messed up that, uh, that last hand that I had. The war boss was just, like, perfect against me um, on turn three where I needed two other turns. I didn't have an answer for it on turn three still. Baffling End, the games that we had Baffling End against Red, we were a lot more successful than the games we didn't have Baffling End. That was kind of a necessary card. Um, yeah, I, I could have just mulliganed that hand again. Cause basically waiting till turn four to have Settle for our first interaction on the draw. That's just too slow. I was hoping it was going to be fast enough with them mulliganing and us having four draw steps for like by our turn three before the settle with the revitalize and three other draws. I was hoping we'd find a warrant or a baffling end in one of those four draw steps, but we didn't, and we were too slow. But that's how that's how it works. I uh, kind of wish we got to play this deck against other things besides red, and. Honestly, even though we went 1-2 against Red, I think we could have a pretty good match, or like, you know, just a decent matchup against Red if um, for mulligating a little more aggressively if you if you do sideboard out all the Ashioks um, and everything. I think you have a lot of tools to beat Red here. But those are the games. All right, so if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like playing really slow control decks that are trying to um, play the real long game and mill the opponent out, give this a try. Let me know how it goes. Uh, let me know if you play against some other decks besides Mono Red and how it goes. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.